Sometimes I see around the exercises that seem literally impossible. But are they actually? I guess there is only one way to find out. Skill number one, the impossible push-up. It looks hard and I saw everybody struggling with this one. But I was somehow convinced I was gonna do it easily. And so, after a few minutes of mental preparation, I just give it a try. And even if it's been harder than expected, at the very first attempt, I actually did it. Yes, go! Cool. An impossible push-up was literally the easiest of the seven exercises we will try in this video. Level 2 out of 7, the impossible single leg squat. It's already extremely hard to do a single leg squat. This one makes things way harder. And I wasn't joking, I tried a bunch of times and I found two major problems. <sighs> had not enough strength and not enough balance to do this. I kept falling or literally staying in the squatting position not being able to move. Come on! Like as soon as I get down, I literally can't move. Oh my god! I was getting worried, but I could not fail at the second level. This was supposed to be one of the easiest things of the list, but my legs had a different opinion. Then, after resting for a while, I decided to try one more time. And this time, even if I wasn't expecting it, I got it! Oh my god, I thought it was impossible. Level two out of seven done. Let's move to the next one. After the first two levels, I understood two things. The first one is that I totally underestimated this video. All the next skills were gonna be extremely hard. And there are just five people in the world able to complete level seven. But I also knew there was only one way to get there just doing it. So I threw myself into the next one. Level three out of seven. The Salmon Ladder from Ninja Warrior. I never tried this in my life, but it's pretty straightforward. I should hang from this bar and pulling myself up in an explosive way in order to move the bar from the first rung to the second one. And then again, and again, and again. All right. <laughs> As always, I had no idea what to expect, but I just started trying. And it didn't go really well. Ooh. Every single time I tried, I missed one rung and fell on the ground. But right when my arms and back were about to give up, this happened. Oh. All right, that's progress though. <laughs> this is so great. Five minutes ago, I was stuck there, literally there. Yasko, we can do this. I was still really far from the top. And even if tasting success gave me hope, my arms were absolutely destroyed. I'm already getting tired though. Didn't consider that. I really wanted to get it though, so I kept trying for a while, but I had nothing left. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> even my hands were refusing to work. So I decided to stop for a while and rest before trying again. It wasn't over yet. Level four out of seven. This one had nothing to do with arms or hands, but it is insanely hard. This video says it's basically impossible to jump more than 50 inches. This is 25 inches. This is 50 inches. <laughs> I wanted to start easier though, 30 inches, and I got that easily, 36 inches, and I got that too. So I decided to try with 50 inches. Yeah, that's way higher than before, like it's not even close. <laughs> I started trying right away, and even if I actually got close, I realized I had no space for my arms to swing because of the boxes. That's probably why everybody's using plates, so I set them up too. But after realizing 50 inches was seriously too much, I decided to try at 48, and this gave me problems too. After failing over and over again, I seriously didn't know if I could make it. This is not only hard, it's kinda scary too, but I kept trying over and over again, fighting with my brain, and out of nowhere, this happened. Yes, I stopped at 48 inches. I basically can't walk anymore. <laughs> if you wanna jump 55 inches, you could do it. It would just take a bunch of time, but you could do it. All right, let's move to the next one. It was time to try the Salmon Ladder once again. And literally, at the first attempt, I started going, and going, and going. I couldn't believe this. Then my hands no. stopped working. No. I was upset no. and super excited at the same time. Guys. I'm almost there. <laughs> Unfortunately, my hands right now are refusing to work. So I guess I gotta wait a little bit more. We're gonna get it. At this point I had four extremely hard exercises left, including the Salmon Ladder and the Impossible Level 7. And I was destroyed. All right, today is the next day. I woke up this morning and I basically couldn't walk. And I actually got sick for some reason. 
But it doesn't matter. We got the three hardest exercises left and an unfinished business with the salmon ladder. First, I wanted to try this insane wall run from Ninja Warrior. That is so tall and steep. That's intimidating. My legs hurt so much. But I started trying anyways with the smaller wall. All right, it's too easy. Now let's try the other one. I went for it and I was surprised. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. I started trying over and over, and every single time I was getting extremely close. And when I tried to do that, I want to tell you about Raid Shadow Legends. You heard of it. It's one of the most popular mobile games to play. To celebrate Raid's fourth year anniversary, they asked me to pick four of my favorite champions to invite to a dinner party. And of course, I invited the ones with knife skills. I mean, look at them. I absolutely love them. This April, you can also hunt for Dragon Eggs on Raid. Embark on an exciting AR adventure. If you find the hidden egg, you could win amazing in-game items and even real-life prizes. From Raid champions to Amazon gift cards with a total value of $20,000. No, I touched it! Just download the game using the links down below and then head over to this link from April 14th to May 15th. With all this exciting stuff, if you haven't started playing yet, what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses. We're talking about an insane champion, Talia, and other insanely useful stuff. Come find me under the name Mike Shake. I'll see you there. Now I'm gonna get it. Oh my god! Yes! I actually got it. Let's go to the next one. I had three skills left, including the ladder and the most impossible exercise of the list. But I was determined to get there fast. Before trying the salmon ladder again, I'm gonna attempt exercise six, the impossible ab wheel challenge. I totally came up with that name right now. <laughs> That's right. The challenge consists in rolling over the barbell till the edge, and then going back up. Falling would be extremely painful, and simply rolling, it's insanely tiring. And the first time I tried and fell, I realized how hard it actually is. So I tried a few times with my knees on the ground, and I could do it. But it was already really hard that way. But then I tried while standing up, and literally at a second attempt, this happened. Yeah. That was my thumb. I kept trying and failing over and over. Oh my god, it's so hard. And then, this happened. I thought I had it, and I was so excited, but I quickly realized they kept my body way too far from the ground. I was basically like this. I had to try again, bringing my belly closer to the ground. Then suddenly, I got it again. Come on, it was better. But it wasn't good enough. Come on. But after trying and failing a few more times, actually a lot of times, this happened. Come on, come on. Level six was done. So I only had the salmon ladder and the most impossible skill of the list left. And at this point, even if my hands were still hurting, it was time to close the unfinished business with the salmon ladder. <gasps> No! After watching a few videos, I tried with a different position of my hands. And right away, I got super close. I really thought I had it. Wow. Come on, we can do it though. But then, I started failing over and over. I kept failing for like 20 minutes. I had no strength, and I was overall extremely tired. I was kinda losing hope. But then, out of nowhere, I almost got it. No, come on! And when I tried it again, Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, go! The salmon ladder was conquered, so it was time to face the hardest challenge of the list. Something the strongest guys on YouTube failed. Something that I don't even know somebody can actually do. The Bucky Pose. I tried right away after the salmon ladder, and I immediately quit. But the next day, I went back to it, failing over and over and over again. This is so hard. I, I don't even know if this is possible. I had no idea where I should place my arms, my legs, the posture. I didn't know anything, and that led me to absolutely no results. Then I decided to stop for a while and study. This guy is the only one on YouTube that's actually doing the Bucky Pose. I guess that means... It's possible. And so I convinced myself the only way I could do it too was to exactly mimic his perfect technique. I watched this video, then I tried, then I repeated the same process all over again. So I started touching the floor only with the fingers of my left hand and also placing my elbow right in the middle of my leg. It's actually working. 
You see what I mean? Like I'm falling, but I'm falling slower. Let's go. I knew I was gonna get it. I simply didn't know how long it was gonna take. Oh my god, it hurts so much. I gotta stop for a while though, because my right arm is literally bleeding and my wrist is crying. All right, see you tomorrow. Day two has been painful. I was tired and everything was hurting. So I didn't get much better. Fast forward, three days of suffering. My arm was destroyed. My wrist was worse than my arm, but I literally became obsessed with this thing. I kept trying over and over and over at every chance I got. I tried every single day for seven more days. And at some point, all this struggle started to pay off. It's literally the same theory applied in my life and here on YouTube. Nothing was working at the beginning, but I didn't get myself the option to give up. And you know what happens when you keep failing without giving up? You learn. Let's go! Let's go!